Good morning, happy Thursday. We start the day with the same breakfast again, a good old fry up. Um, as delight and lean Cumberland sausages, tomatoes and peppers, a fried egg, bacon and tomato ketchup with a coffee. Andrew's had porridge. Good morning, my love. How are you good feeling? Good morning. <clears throat> I'm raring to go. I want to climb Everest today. Good, we're doing a good six But I'm going to do it in my slippers, <sighs> just to make it challenging. How was your porridge? Um, stodgy, porridgey and creamy. Good. Ish. I'm going to enjoy this now. Well, good morning again. Happy Thursday. Um, I am looking a little bit like I've caught the sun or a bit of wind burn. Um, it's just after nine o'clock. As you can see, we've all had our breakfasts. Um, we have packed up for the day again with uh, packed lunch and drinks and food for Charlie and maps and all sorts. So today we are planning to do um, Coniston and Tarn House all being well. We've identified the car park. We have researched it extensively. So hopefully we will get the right car park today on first attempt. Um, so yes, Coniston town house the walk we have planned says six and three quarter miles so we are going to pay for all day in the car park to make sure we can enjoy the walk um have you got anything to say dear uh no not really I'm looking forward to it yes um yeah just, uh, you don't really know what to expect on new walks do you so no it shouldn't be too difficult though hopefully um it will it will be um a nice little walk and the sun's coming out but it won't be too hot i have had to put some sun cream on my parting so my hair looks a little bit greasy because i caught the sun just on the top of my head either yesterday or the day before so we shall go and have a lovely day and take you along with us oh good morning it is 10 30 we are here at Coniston and I believe we are in the right car park first time lucky. We have paid £9 so we've got plenty of time to complete the walk and maybe even have um, something nice when we get back into the village. Keep going. Oh. No, just saying this, uh, I think I might have to go back to the car. What for? My hat. Yes, he needs his hat. I'll be, I'll be back with you in a moment. Yeah. So this, while I'm waiting for Andrew, this is the walk we're hoping to do. Coniston to Tarn House, six and three quarter miles or 10.9 kilometres. Estimated time is three hours and 30 minutes. Well, we know from yesterday that that's probably rubbish. Ascent of 885 feet. Paths, road, grassy paths and tracks. I've got my map. here and we'll see how we get on. Andrew's decided to leave the walk because I went the wrong way out of the car park but it was a good job because you needed to buy a hat. I did. So you've now got a children's hat on that was 3 99 because the adults one were £12 and we are just walking down one of the lanes in Coniston at the start of our walk. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it on the picture, but right in that valley there is Coniston Water. After a few false starts and a couple of wrong turns in Coniston, which have probably added a thousand steps to our step count, we are finally on the right footpath. I don't know what, to, what time is it? Oh, you, you haven't got a watch on, have you? It's probably about 11 o'clock. 20 past 11 and we are finally properly getting started. So we start with our first view of the day over the fields and down to Coniston Lake and up towards the hills our footpath forward Charlie's laying down already look taking a breather You're not so good at navigating now, are you? The map was wrong. Come on, 
never will. Towards the kissing gate. So we're now walking through some fir trees. Climbing. There's been a lot of climbing in on this holiday. What have you got to say? I think that little bit there was as tough as bits of skidder. Just eating us. Oh, am I glad we've got these walking poles? Nice bit of forest. Shame it's hiding the view, but hopefully we'll see it again. We're still in the trees. But now we've got a glimpse of Coniston. Bit, bit of a mistier day, isn't it, so far? Yeah, it's a bit overcast, isn't it? I think it'll lift, though, eventually. But it's not cold at all. You can just see the steamer going out, which we've also been on. There. We took Alfie on that one when he was still alive. This one down here hasn't been on a boat yet, but I don't think we're planning on a boat trip this time. Wow. So we're just out of the woods and we're walking down this lovely track through the countryside. So I don't think we've been walking an hour yet. Don't stop getting in the shot. Oh, we've got a stile to climb. That should be fun. I would try to vlog, but we need every hand available to get over a stile with a dog and two sticks and two rucksacks. Quick view back to Coniston before we move on. I think we will eventually lose sight of it because that is right at the edge of Coniston. But yeah, now we tackle the stile. So well, I, see, I said that was the last of Coniston, but we have uh, climbed up and just look at that. And look at these beautiful trees as well. So we are on the Cumbria Way. Oh, there's a farmer with his tractor behind the sheep down there. The hills up there. You'll have to link that channel that you've been watching. Yeah, we'll do. Andrew's been watching a walking channel. We'll tell you the name sometime when we find it out later. That's been quite good and she tells you the names of proper names of everything. Yeah, so we're gonna have a drink and a banana and a little nibble sat here looking at the view. Zoomed you in a bit there, but we're just a little bit higher up now. It's just amazing just to keep looking back. thinks we're going to get rained on but we'll continue while we can and I know these are probably a bit repetitive because they're always looking over on Coniston but I just can't resist keep showing you and this is our way ahead So we're now just passing Tarn House Cottage, which I believe is either where Beatrix Potter lived or one of her houses that she owned. Of course, uh, I think you'll all know who Beatrix Potter is, but it looks a lovely house with a stunning view onto uh, the Tarn House Lake. Just look at it.
We are almost at the entrance to Tarn House and one last, well, might not be the last look, but last view from this little lane of all this hills and countryside behind us. Very sunny now. It's amazing views. I've done about half a mile or so on this little track. You're enjoying it, aren't you, love? I am. Right, we need to find this, uh, find the next, next turn off. And here we are at Tarn House. So we get to walk around here. And when we find a suitable spot, we will stop for lunch. So we're walking near the dam, but it's not quite in sight at the moment, near the tarn. I just thought I'd show you the bluebells. And the tarn just peeking through the, the trees. Yeah. The glorious sunshine. Very easy path if you just wanted to I just thought I'd turn you around because I wanted to tell you that you can drive up to Tarn House and park here if, if you're not as mobile and just have a little wander and have a little sit by the water. Uh, that's probably something that we would have done uh, before I lost my weight or if I wasn't quite as mobile. We would have driven up and par parked in the car park and it's a very, very short walk down to the water and you can just sit and enjoy the view if you wanted to know. And this is our picnic spot. So we've come off the track a little bit, down under the shade of a tree which I'll show you in a moment. And we're looking over the town. We haven't been here before have we? No. Town house. I should probably know lots of facts to be able to spout at you, but it's uh, something to do with Beatrix Potter and the National Trust. You can look it up, I'm sure, if you're interested enough. But for now, I'm happy to enjoy the views. There's the track look. There's these two enjoying a bit of shade. So for lunch I have barbecue bean loaf today, which is free on Sunny World. Again, on a bed of salad, green leaves, peppers, tomatoes and cucumber. And I've got balsamic vinegar on there and some of the Morrison's Thousand Island dressing, which is half a sin, a tablespoon. But I'm probably not really counting again today. So I've had my balsamic and my dressing. I've got two high fi bars for my healthy extra B, a Coke, and some fruit. Um, blueberries and strawberries in there. And I've had a banana and I've got a pear stashed away as well. And I'm still looking at the view. We've uh, just eaten our dinner and just walked a short distance to down to the shore of the town. Alfie's have, uh, Charlie's having a little paddle and a drink and you can see over there where the people are. That's where we came in. back onto the track and this is the other end of the town. There are people about but it's 
surprisingly peaceful. And just look at that. Climbed up a slightly. And you can see nearly the whole of the town. With the mountains as a backdrop. How lovely. So we're just walking through lots of lovely woodland on the other side of the town and as I said before it's a very clear friendly footpath and you can come and park at town house and walk as little or as, as long as you like and most of the time you've got a view of the lake or Lovely foresty trees. Well. And a nice little place but bench for the view. I don't think it'll be that long till we're leaving the town behind so I'll give you a little snapshot while we're walking it's actually a good mile or two all the way around the town so as I said if you just wanted to have a little walk this would be sufficient a mile or two Now we're descending quite a steep path by the side of the bed. Monster countryside. I can't film much because it is very steep. Oh, and look what we've just found. Honestly, I did not know that was here when I started filming. I think that's a bit more impressive actually than Air Force. There's the boys exploring. So yeah. Wow, uh, this is the path we're following, quite steep and rocky at times. So it's quite a long stretch following this beck down. We've been walking a good 20 minutes, half an hour. It feels a lot longer than nearly seven miles but maybe that's just us and the filming but it's beautiful Andrew's convinced he's going the right way I'm not so convinced but I'm sure we'll turn out right in the end we are still by the back by the right of the back though which seems to be the correct way so fingers crossed but yeah it's beautiful. Well, we think we took a wrong turning, so we're currently just retracing our steps. 
But look what we found. A horse and a... I'm not sure if it's a horse and a foal or a horse and a pony. We're somewhere on a footpath near the road to Coniston and we're just trying to find our way back now. So we're just on the path above the road, above Coniston Road. I think we've still got a, a mile, at least a mile or two left to do, so we're going to have to keep moving because it's 20 past three. We were hoping to have a bite to eat at Coniston, but we'll have to see how much time we've got left. It's still a lovely sunny day. Maybe that's where we should be climbing, but to be quite honest, I'm finding this walk quite uh, quite challenging enough, thank you very much. So we are now walking, oh there we go, look, there's one of the planes in the background, hope you can see that. We are now walking by Coniston Road, we have seen a sign that says a mile and a half to Coniston. Um, we may possibly be cutting some of the walk off or going a slightly different way back than what the walk says, but I think we've had enough and we're quite happy just to follow this path and look at the views. So we haven't got picturesque views as we decided to just follow this simple road back to Coniston. Um, simple footpath which is next to the road so we'll just follow this hopefully all the way back into Coniston um, but it's now about quarter to four, four o'clock so we're having a stop for a drink and I'm having my second hi-fi bar because we were flagging a little bit but it won't be long till we're back We are still walking on this footpath, nicely away from the road, which is nice, uh, but at least it's a nice easy walk and we haven't had to navigate, which I think if we'd gone back the way the walk was directing, we'd have had to do a bit more map reading and navigation. At least we can just follow this path and try and keep a bit of speed up. Have you got anything you want to say? I'm ready for some fish and chips. Fish and chips? Yeah. And you want some roller skates? And some roller skates, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> We're just trying to keep moving now so that we've got time to eat something when we get back to Coniston. Have you enjoyed yourself? Yeah, knackered. Yeah, it's we're tired a, now. It's been a different walk, hasn't it? Yeah. Because we've got a bit of everything in this one. You know, climbing. Forests, Forest, like, towns, yeah. lakes, views. Views, yeah, that's when I took my trousers off. Um, yeah. Oh. It's been nice. Right, I'll catch you in a bit. Here we are then. It is about five o'clock and we are outside the fish and chip shop called Our Place in Coniston and we have two fish and chips. Andrew's got a dandelion and burdock. Here's mine and I've got a zero bimto fizzé and some tomato ketchup and I'm going to enjoy these every last bite. Right we have had our fish and chips and really enjoyed them and we're stood in this rather odd spot for a reason. Um, way back about three years ago in 2015, 2014, um, we came to Coniston and I still had all my weight on and we have a photo of me stood in this position. So I will try and remember to insert it either after this clip or at the end of the vlog, a comparison between the photo we took three years ago and one of me stood here just like this just now. So we are now leaving Coniston. It's about half five and uh, yeah, we are just have a nice slow drive back and have a quiet evening very slow yeah um i think we'll get caught in the uh, traffic but 
yeah, we're just on our way back. Have you had a good day? Mm, yeah, lovely. Yeah, so we'll see you when we get home. Well, it's now 6.30 and we are still in the car. We are stuck on the A593. We think there's been an accident. We're stuck somewhere between Coniston and Ambleside. Uh, Skelwith, I think. We've just passed the sign for that. Uh, yeah, we've been here slow, very slowly moving along this road for about half an hour. And it's hot and I'm thirsty. Charlie's in the back so we've had to put a little screen up. It's a bit of a shame but there's nothing we can do but sit it out I think. Well good evening, it's now nearly 10 to 10. When we got back, I don't think I've come on since we said we were stuck in a traffic jam and we didn't get back home till about seven o'clock and I don't think I've seen you since then. Uh, so when we got back, um, I had a pot of quark with some chocolate powder mixed in um, and a bar, a tasty little numbers bar. So that would have been seven sins with a coffee. Uh, and I've also had a um, bottle of water. But obviously I've had the fish and chips today. So again, I don't know how many sins I'm ending on. But um, we've had a really, really good day. 24,000 steps done. Revisited some spots where we visited nearly four years ago when I was around 23, 24 stone, perhaps perhaps higher. Not, not quite at my biggest, um, but certainly 24, 25 stone, something like that. And now... Here I am, a few years later, having managed to, to lose the weight. So yeah, brought back some good memories. So um, my vlog from for Wednesday, which is when we went to Aero Force, is 63% um, uploaded. So I'm still having trouble. That's been uploading since probably about 6 or 7 o'clock this morning. Um, so hopefully that will be by uh, be with you soon. But I really do hope you've enjoyed these vlogs. I'm not sure whether I'll be vlogging tomorrow. I'll see what, what we do and what we get up to. Um, but we are going home tomorrow. Um, so we'll see. But thank you very much for watching. If you've got any questions about Lion Fit Park or any of the places that we've been to or visited, then please do let me know. Please like, comment and subscribe and I will see you next time.